Hello there. This is Richard of Doomed Movie Thon and Cinema Somnambulist. Today's topic is horror manga, and I have a big stack of crap to go through, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, first up, one of my new favorites, uh, Reiko the Zombie Shop. This is about a young lady named Reiko who can resurrect the dead as well as control them, and she's just trying to make a buck in the world. And um, it's a really sexy, funny, gory as hell series. Unfortunately, for some reason, um, Dark Horse only put out six volumes, and there are 11 in Japan. So hopefully, Dark Horse will get off their asses and actually put out the other five. Um, I hope they do, because this is good stuff. It's really silly, but it's a good time. Um, next, not such a good time, more grotesque and disturbing, is Arm of Kanan. Uh, this is a very... I don't even know what to say about it. It's messed up. Um, this series, I've only gotten through about one or two volumes, so if it really sucks, I'm sorry. But just from the first two volumes, I'm really excited about it. Next is Battle Angel Lita. This is just a great action bordering on horror. Um, there's a lot of body horror and just explosive violence in this that is very grim and very depressing. Not a happy story, but it's a classic. I mean, I was reading this back in the 90s when I wasn't that into horror. I was just really into anime. And back in the day, they would cut up and release manga in the American comics format, so, you know, like 30, 50 pages or something like that, and it really just, it doesn't do these justice. I'm glad that we get them in the um, much longer format now. It's really cool, and this is just an awesome, awesome title. Um, yes. Uh, continuing with the action horror uh, genre is Helsing. After watching the original anime of this series, I was not going to read the manga under any circumstances. Um, the original anime is really bad. It's really... they did not do a good job on it. So when my friend told me that the, the manga was excellent, I was like, okay. Um, she lent me a few issues and I'm really glad she did. This is vampires versus... Nazis, it's spectacular, and um, they did redo the anime. They actually went back and started from volume one, and it kicks ass now. So, how often does that happen? Where they fix their mistakes? Um, next is Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. Um, this is just so bizarre. You have to read this. It's really just a strange, strange comic, and I love it. Um, it's about a group of entrepreneurs who decide to start a club in order to find corpses and determine what these restless spirits want um, and hopefully get some cash in the process. It's just fun. It, um, I'm going get to get a little pervy on you here. Um, Ghost Talkers Daydream. This series um, I first heard about through a short-lived anime. It was, I think it was a pilot or whatever, um, but it was really, really kinky and bizarre. Another person who communicates with the dead. Her day job, of course, is a S and M dominatrix. It's really freaky, but um, I love it. It's a great series. Only up to volume three so far. I hope they keep making this one. Let's hope the Dark Horse doesn't, like, drop it like they did with Reiko. Mm. Okay. Um, speaking of pervy, uh, MPD Psycho. Um, this is really, really twisted. Um, it's serial killer. It's it's hypnotism. It's very strange, very violent. 
um, very um, perverse, grotesque, just nasty good stuff. Um, Takashi Miike did a, um, a short TV series based on this, did not do it justice. I mean, I really liked MPD Psycho. Um, that's why I started reading the manga. The manga is awesome. This is really, really freaky shit. Hideshi Hino is a name that, when I think of horror manga, immediately pops to mind. When I started looking for horror manga, he was the first that I just, oh my god, this is, this is fabulous. Um, my, my wife actually had Hell Baby. Um, this is the story of a little girl abandoned by her family um, because she died. And so she's this cute, adorable, rotting corpse trying to find her way back home. And she eats um, offal and uh, garbage and dead dogs. And it's just, it's just such a sweet little story. Heartwarming. Um, that led me to the uh, Hino Horror series. Um, there's a bunch of these. They're really fun. His style is very, very cartoonish. Um, really, really uh, distinct. Old school uh, Japanese drawing. <laughs> I had to tell you it was Japanese drawing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a good way. Cartoony, but really disgusting. Lots of pus and gore and snakes coming out of places snakes should not come out of, uh, people vomiting up um, cigarette butts, you know, your typical Saturday night fun. All right, I saved the best for last. I'm pointing at you. Junji Ito. Um, you may know him <clears throat> as the creator of the Tomie series. They've made seven or eight films um, for now of uh, Tomie. Uh, let's see, the Museum of Terror series. Um, I first found out about this guy um, from Uzumaki, the film called Uzumaki, which if you haven't seen, you got to check it out at least once. It's a freaky, freaky festival. Um, what didn't, what I wasn't prepared for with Uzumaki was the manga. Um, the manga is really, really dark and really good. And just, it's epic, epic storytelling. I've never seen anything like this. You have to read Uzumaki. If you never read anything else from horror manga or from Junji Ito, just get the first volume of Uzumaki. It's only uh, three volumes. It's intensely awesome, amazing. Can't recommend this enough. It's totally fucked up. Um, he also wrote Gyo, another dark cover with a shiny surface. I have to kind of flop at you. Um, this is, this is disgusting. If you've eaten fish before, or don't like fish, or have smelled fish before, or you've been to the ocean, or you've maybe read a book about the ocean, don't read this. This is disgusting. You will not... Go near the ocean again if you ever read this. Fish and sharks grow legs and claim the land back with lots of gas and farting and eating people. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but it happens in this book. It's sick. I recommend it. Whew. That is my stack of horror manga. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerdy, nerdy, nerdy nerd. So if you want to tell your friends I'm a nerd, you'd be telling the truth. Good night. Hi.